but just being ready. Go for getting the most important things together, like my jugs of water, my canned foods. If you notice a potential storm coming through, you know, just keep informed with the news. So you need to know your surroundings. That's the important thing. So it's best to be prepared. We know that you need to be prepared. You should know what a storm's greatest threat to your area is. But as far as a checklist, there's a lot of stuff to talk about here over the next couple of minutes. We will let you know what you need to weather the storm and its aftermath. Water, one gallon of water per person per day for at least three days, both for drinking, keeping your family hydrated, and for all your sanitary needs. The storm has made landfall, the power is out, and you have a freezer full of meat to deal with. But don't worry, you don't have to throw it out. If we know that the power is going to be out for a long time, then I would suggest go ahead and cook it. Cook it and invite your neighbors over and have a feast. Packing in an ice or keeping ice on it and maintaining a temperature, you know, to, of the coldness, then it's going to stay better. Ice is very valuable in a long-term power outage. However, sometimes hard to come by. So if you're questioning the quality of your meat, if in doubt, throw it out. <laughs> I would not cook it if you if you have any doubt about it. In the longer term, non-perishables are the way to go. We're talking about many canned foods, things like canned vegetables, canned soups as well. There's a large variety, and in some cases, canned meats such as canned chili. All are usually cooked, don't technically have to be heated, and can sit in your pantry for quite a while. Now remember, you will need a way to heat, a way to cook all of that food. A great way without electricity is a grill, gas, or charcoal. Now remember, if you miss anything, any of the items we discussed, you can find the complete list on the Hurricane Center page at WTOC.com.